everyone, so I've just made it out to Alta in Finnmark, pretty much almost all the way north in Norway. And this place is absolutely stunning. It's very cloudy at the moment, so um, a lot of the things are shaded at the moment, but you are getting some amazing landscapes in the background here. These mountains are so cool, and they're still full of snow as well. But at the moment, we're out to go and get a boat to an island where we will be camping for a couple of days. And there's gonna be puffins and some eagles, hopefully, and hopefully some other things as well, and gonna be capturing the landscapes too. So at the moment, we're just taking it a little bit easy and stopping at a few sp spots while we're on the way to the boat. I thought it would just be really great just to quickly get a nice shot here because these mountains are exquisite so I thought I'd at least get something while I have the chance but yeah this is um, an absolutely beautiful place so hopefully this turns out to be great let's just see how this goes and I hope you do enjoy what I have to show while I'm here just made it onto the island we're gonna stay on and it's pretty windy out here but right now there are seven eagles just flying over us a couple of geese some geese as well and there's just seagulls everywhere as well this place is absolutely awesome so right now it's a little too dark to be taking any uh, wildlife photos uh, first thing we want to do really we're just scout, scouting the area and then uh, we'll probably set up camp, get our stuff into the tents and then head out for a little trip. And uh, with the way the light is, I'll probably just take some landscape photos. But uh, I, I'm expecting some good stuff here. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. We set up camp and we just had something to eat. It's really windy up here. And it's also 12 o'clock at night, but there's still a lot of light. <laughs> so we're just gonna take a little walk around, see if we can get some cool landscape shots. I'm not sure what we're gonna find yet. And uh, probably leave it at that with getting some sleep. I've been up since five o'clock this morning. So, yeah, I'm pretty tired, but uh, I do want to get what I can while we're here. We have to make the most of it. Huh? Yeah, we have to make so, the most of this. <laughs> Okay, so funny enough, we didn't really get really far. There's a timer again just sat at the end of the cliff here. So we're gonna try and sneak up on it with our uh, long lenses. I'm just gonna use my 300 so um, I kind of need the f2.8 right now. It's pretty dark So yeah, I'm gonna sneak our way down there See what I can get uh, But it is quite hard to film this without scaring it away. So I'm just gonna go off with the lens by itself And see if I can get a little bit of video of it as well. just come out to the spot here uh, just to get a look over the ocean here and um, I'm kind of thinking of a shot with the mountain in the background here and also getting a long exposure because there is a lot of waves and stuff crashing the, the water is moving quite a lot so I think a long exposure for this would work quite well the only problem is I've had to come a little bit down because the wind is really moving the camera around and that's just gonna not really work and it is pretty dark, so I'm not really sure I'm going to be getting that many shots today as it is. 
but uh, I want to try this, see if it works. Hopefully, long enough exposure will actually work out really well. Uh, but I'll just have to test it out. So I think I'm gonna end the video here for today. Like I said, it has been a pretty long one. I've been up since 5.30 this morning and we're closing in on one o'clock the next day. So we're gonna take some sleep and uh, probably go out for the next episode and hopefully find the puffins that we mainly came here to photograph. Um, but yeah. A lot of rain starting to come in now, so it's probably best that we get some shelter anyway. So, I'll uh, see you guys in the next episode. Hope you've at least enjoyed the journey for this one and uh, expect some interesting stuff next time.